In this video, you will learn some of the basic student jargon that you should be aware of, as you will hear people talk about them a lot during your studies in a Finnish university. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Oliver and I'm a master's student in economics at Aalto University in Finland. And on this channel we talk about education and early career development, specifically here in Finland. So if you are new here, do consider subscribing. Before we jump into today's topic, let me thank Aalto University for also sponsoring this video. I've done both my bachelor's and master's degrees at Aalto, and I really cannot recommend enough that you apply to Aalto in the next application period. More information about studying at Aalto through the links in the description. All right, let's jump directly to the first word on the list, which is the Akateeminen vartti. So the akateeminen vartti translates to an academic quarter and it refers to the tradition that lectures and events in Finnish universities begin at a quarter past the hour. So while you might hear from some sources that this applies to all lectures and events, do note that practices may vary between schools. So if your course timetable says that a lecture begins on the hour, this usually means that the academic quarter does not apply. The second word on this list is orientatio viikko, which is a translation of orientation week. So this week is usually the week immediately preceding the beginning of the academic year, although some universities organize orientatio viikko at the beginning of each semester. Its purpose is to introduce you to the university, and your future studies, as well as giving you information on living in Finland as an international student. It is also a great opportunity to get to know your fellow students, and many student parties are organized throughout the week. Next up we have a word fuksi, which refers to a fresher or a freshman, i.e. a first year student at a university. Some student organizations have their own term for their first year students, for example, first-year business students at Aalto University are called Mursu, which translates into a walrus. However, Fuxi is the general term for all first-year university students in Finland. Next up, we have the Finnish acronym HOPS, which translates into PSP or a personal study plan in English. The HOPS or PSP is a detailed plan that outlines the structure of your degree, the courses and modules that you have to take, plus the timetable for completing your studies. Creating a HOPS is a mandatory step in your studies that is usually done at the beginning of your first semester. So even though you have to do it right away after starting your studies, don't worry about locking in your options for the coming years, and it is completely normal that your personal study plan evolves somewhat as you progress with your studies and you learn which courses might be interesting to take. Next, we have the term noppa, or as it is also known in Finnish, opintopiste. So noppa refers to your ECTS credits that you get from completing courses. So the number of credits earned depends on the scope of the course, but one credit corresponds to approximately 27 hours of work. So as the scope of a bachelor's degree is 180 credits and a master's degree 120 credits, in total one needs 300 credits to complete the entirety of one's university studies. When distributed over the target duration of five years, this means that you should complete around 60 credits per academic year. The next term is the Joo-opinnot, which refers to the flexible study ride scheme that enables university degree students in Finland to take courses from other Finnish universities free of charge and to have those studies recognized towards your degree at your home university. If you are interested in reading more about this topic, I have a link to the official Yo wiki page in the description box below. Next up, we have Web Ori, or Ori in short, which is a course portal through which students enroll to courses and from where you can find information about your personal study plan and all the grades from your completed studies. All right, so the next word is Varjo Opinto Opas, which translates to fringe study guide. So these informal online study guides are usually run and updated by students and they host information and tips on different courses and how to pass them. 
Moving down the list, we have the word kandi, which can either refer to your bachelor's thesis, or it can be also used when referring to bachelor's students in general. In the same category is the word gradu, which is student slang for one's master's thesis. All right, so let's move down the list to the next category, which is student events. And the first word on this list is apro, which means a student pub crawl. Next up, we have the akateeminen lauluilta, which could be roughly translated to an academic singing evening. It's basically a more formal dinner party at which you sing, drink and dine and listen to speeches. These events are extremely popular in Finnish universities and I really encourage you to check them out. Next, we have vuosijuhla or vujut in short. So vuosijuhla refers to the annual ball organized by student unions and associations in Finland. Annual balls are formal dinner parties celebrating the birthday of that specific organization. The dress code for these parties usually require men to wear a tailcoat or a dark suit and for women to wear an evening gown both with academic decorations. So these parties are a bit like the previously mentioned lauluilta, as they include a formal dinner with singing, drinking and speeches, but the format is just a bit more formal. All right, so the next one is also very important to many students, and that is sitsit, or a sitsit party in English. So a sitsit party is a party at which you sing, eat and drink, and it's pretty close to a lauluilta, but a sitsi party has its own rules and traditions, and they have a more informal dress code. As you've already noticed, the Finnish student culture includes a lot of singing and eating and drinking, and the sitsi party is no exception. All right, so the next one is a very cool one, and it is a speksi, which is a student-run interactive musical where the audience is encouraged to participate in running the musical. These are very, very popular in Finland and they have a very long tradition in the Finnish student culture. All right, so if we jump quickly to a more career-oriented event, a urailta or a career evening in English is an evening event that often includes meeting company representatives, hearing about career opportunities and information about work life in Finland. Career evenings or again urailta are usually organized by clubs and student unions, and they come in many different sizes and formats. Continuing with career events, the next word to learn is exku, which comes from the English word excursion. This basically means a visit to a corporate partner office to learn about career options that they offer for students and graduates. Next up, we have an important word specifically for student parties, and that is laulukirja, which translates to a songbook in English. These songbooks contain specifically academic drinking songs that are sung especially during academic dinner parties and city parties. All right, so the next category is the different student organizations that you should know of. First one is jaosto, which translates to a subcommittee. Subcommittees are usually separate working groups that operate under the university student union and each of them has a special function to them. I have more information about subcommittees and other student organizations in this video right here. So the next word on the list is kilta, which translates to a guild. Guilds are student associations specifically for technology students and each field has their own kilta, which is own history overalls and traditions. The next term is aine järjestö, or a subject club in English. So subject clubs are like guilds, but for non-technology students, and they represent the variety of study programs taught at each university. Most subject clubs are active in specifically organizing leisure time activities and career opportunities for their members. The next abbreviation on this list is SYL, which is short of Suomen ylioppilaskuntien liitto, which translates to the National Union of University Students in Finland. SYL is an advocate for all university students in Finland, and it has an active role in policymaking in the Finnish political landscape. Again, I have more information about SYL and the other organizations in one of my previous videos that you can find by 
clicking the circled I in the top right corner somewhere over here. Anyways, next up we have the word tekkari, which is a general term used about technology students in Finland. Also, in the same breath, it's good to mention the term tekkarilakki, which refers to the technology student cap that you will see worn by tekkaris between the 1st of May and the last day of September. A tekkarilakki is easily recognized as the white cap that has the black tassel hanging from it on the side. So while all tech students have the right to get a tekkarilakki, you cannot simply buy one, but rather you have to earn yourself the right to carry one during the first year of your studies. In the same category is the word ylioppilaslakki, which is a general term for a Finnish white high school graduation cap. While these look like the previously mentioned tekkarilakki, they are actually a completely separate concept that should not be mixed. This is very important to know as referring to a tekkarilakki as a ylioppilaslakki will definitely earn you dirty looks from a lot of technology students. Moving on, next word we have on the list is haalarit, which is short of opiskelijahaalarit or student overalls in English. The student overalls are a traditional party attire for university students in Finland. And if you want to learn more about student overalls, their history and the traditions associated with them, I have a video about them just over here. All right, so the last term that I will go through in this video is UTHS or FSHS in English. UTHS is the abbreviation for the Finnish Student Health Service, which is the name for the healthcare service provider for all university students in Finland. If you're interested in learning how the Finnish Student Healthcare Service works, I have a separate video about that as well, explaining it in detail right here. All right, that's the end of this list. Of course, there is a bunch of other student jargon that you will learn while staying in Finland, but a lot of the important abbreviations and phrases are actually localized, so they only apply to a certain city. Because I know that you guys are going to study around Finland, I didn't want to go through any of uh, the terms that are actually localized to a specific school or a specific city. Anyways, I'm sure that this list should at least help you get started in learning Finnish student jargon. However, if you think that I forgot any important words or a phrase that everyone should know about, do share it with the community by posting it into the comments below. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you found this video interesting and if you'd like me to make more of these kind of student culture related videos, give this one a thumbs up so that I know whether or not to make more of these in the future. Also, if you have anything to ask about this or any other topic related to studying or building your early career in Finland, write them down in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.